Hello, this is a Squarespace tutorial on banner images um, and thumbnails for your pages. In the last couple, we learned how to create a site, um, or at least the start of a site, and we learned how to edit pages and some about the, uh, the different dashboard settings and things like that. So we're going to learn how to change these thumbnail images. Um, it's relatively easy, but they do kind of hide it for you. Um, no, on uh, most templates that have a full screen image like this, or sorry, a banner image like that, or a full screen image, it's actually a thumbnail that they blow up. Um, so how do we change that? If we try and change the R story index page, this is a page that you don't actually see, which is why it's showing up as nothing. So you always want to make sure that you change the store the the thumbnail underneath that one because when you're looking at it when you're not logged in you're lo actually looking at this our story not this one it's kind of confusing but always make sure to change these pages down here not the index page at least for the Alex template if you're working on a different template um, like this is Aviator and we'll just create this page here. So, create. This one you would actually change this thumbnail since there is no index page for this, um, which I'll show you here in a second because it will behave the same way even though that's a full screen image. So our story, you click the little gear next to it and I always click onto the page that I'm gonna be changing the thumbnail for. So click the little gear, and notice you can add a description, which I'll do to show you what that looks like. You can password protect your page, um, which means that you would have to email somebody the password in order for them to see it. Might be handy if you have a page of content that's only meant for certain viewers. And then you come down to thumbnail, um, edit, you would think is going to change this, but it's actually not. It's just going to allow you to do some Photoshop-like effects, um, which you're better off doing them in Photoshop, but if you don't have that capability, it's always good. Your little crop symbol means that you can crop where the focal point for this is going to be. So if I move it up here in the corner, hit save. When it comes back, notice their heads move down. It's a little more cropped up here. It won't go anymore up into that corner because it's not going to shift it past the edge of the boundaries um, of the page. So like it wouldn't make this dead center because there's nothing else over here. It's just going to shift as far over as it can. Uh, notice that it cuts off a lot on vertical images. So something to be that little crop mark you might have to fuss with for a while. You just fuss with it, hit save, see what it does, go back in. Notice our description shows up underneath. Um, one more thing on description. It's handy not only to give people a little more information about the page, which the page title might not always do. Um, it's also handy as Google so that when you know somebody Googles your site, this page comes up in the search results listings, they'll see the title and then they'll see that little blurb of a description. Um, right next to your thumbnail image, which we're going to upload. So this is all handy for Google. So, oh, actually I'm going to cancel that one. You can also add in Getty images, um, which is a new thing that Squarespace is doing with Squarespace Space 7, which is quite handy. One thing to note on these, you're going to want at least 1500 to 2000 on the width dimension. Height is not so important since they are basically going to crop, you're going to have to crop it for the banner image anyways. Um, but with, on a larger monitor, it will stretch it full screen, even if it's like a 600 pixel image, so you'll end up pixelated. So larger the better, you don't need, you know, three or 4,000, but definitely 15 to 2 is good, and it's not really going to hurt your load time that much. Once you process, resize, decide kind of where you want to crop, um, set as home page. So if this wasn't our home page, we would set it as, but in this one, we want, definitely want our index as the home page. You can also set it as a duplicate page. 
Um, if you have you know a lot of pages that are really similar, you just duplicate one of them and then change it however you want. It's kind of handy. Hit save, and you'll notice that we now have Tokyo behind. But it's kind of tough to see, so something you might want to do is add an overlay behind it, which we'll learn about in the uh, next design tutorial. If we go to our story, you'll notice that even though we changed this thumbnail, oh, we gotta hit refresh. Once it brings it back up. Oh, it's full screen on the Tokyo image because it's reading this page. It's a bad thing about the index page. So if we look at this, how it actually looks on the site, remember I always like to do both visitor Oh, sorry, um, I only have to do visitor because I'm in a trial right now. I always like to look at it, how it's going to look when I'm logged out or how it'll look to a, a regular person and then how it looks here because you can go full screen like this, but it's still going to read this, das this dashboard as taking up space. So it will throw off your, if you're doing custom, you know, absolute positioned elements or something like that, some custom code, it will throw that off. So that is how you change for a template like Alex with the banner images and text underneath in a single page. Basically works the same way for a full screen image site like uh, Aviator. Add a thumbnail image. Oh, actually, sorry, I just lied to you. Each template is a, li a little bit different. So some of the full screen templates you'll change like that with the um, thumbnail image as a banner. But Aviator is a little bit different. So on this one, we change that. So that will show up in Google, but it doesn't actually adjust it here for Aviator. And some of these you'll find your background image in the design, either style editor or logo and title. Um, it could go either way. Yep, here we go. Info page, background image. So you want to remove that, add a background. And again, you'll want the same thing, 1500. This one you actually probably want to worry about height too. Um, you can position where it's going to be, center, center, so it'll crop in the center. Position bottom center, so it'll crop up. Um, whether or not it covers or contains, I always do cover for a responsive. That way it'll shrink down to the other things um, and fix position. So basically you might just want to, you know, crop it somewhere. But other than that, leave it as cover, no repeat fixed position because it's a background image. And then you can work with the overlays and whatnot. Um, and so forth. But that's how you would do it for a template like uh, Aviator.